Welcome to our Laravel tutorial. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to create dynamic routes to controllers in Laravel 5.4. Specifically, they are looking to access a user controller and its profile function directly through a URL, like this. Get ATP slash localhost slash user slash profile user123. This means they want to change the controller and function just by modifying the URL. They've already set up a route that seems to work, but they're unsure how to pass parameters effectively. Let's dive into this challenge and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To create a dynamic route in Laravel, we can define a route that accepts the controller name and function name as parameters. In this route, we use the Laravel app helper to instantiate the controller dynamically based on the provided controller name. Next, we call the specified function on the controller. However, we need to handle the parameters passed in the query string. To pass parameters from the query string, we can use the request object to retrieve them and pass them to the controller function. This way, you can access any controller and function dynamically while passing parameters seamlessly. Let's summarize the complete route setup. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create dynamic controller routes in Laravel, you can define a route that accepts controller and function names as parameters. This allows you to call different functions dynamically based on the URL. For instance, visiting a URL like h localhost is v1 slash my controller slash my function my parameter will output the controller name, function name, and the parameter passed. You can also extend this by adding more optional parameters. For example, adding a second query parameter allows for even more flexibility. When you visit a URL with two parameters, like v1 my controller, my function, my parameter parameter two, it will capture both parameters. Finally, you can call the desired function on the controller with the parameters you captured from the URL. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.